The Big 33 game here on ESPN as the Maryland All-Stars lead Pennsylvania 13 to 6 with a minute 42 remaining in the first quarter. Maryland's second touchdown, a 64-yard run by Jeff Allen. And the kickoff by Walker and Mike Beasley back there with Ricky Waters. And this is Ricky Waters at the 10, high-stepping his way to the 20. Ricky Waters at the 30, and he's brought down there. Ricky may have lost it. He did. He coughed it up. He was holding it out away from his body and Ricky Waters fumbles for the second time in this football game tonight. First time he was able to get it back. That time he lost it and he lost it down in his own 30-yard line. And that's a bad part of the field to fumble. Maryland's got excellent field position and they're real high after scoring the last touchdown. You'll see him here. He's, he's got his arms. You can't pump your arms recklessly like that when you're, you know, you're, you're carrying the football. When flying out, Maryland's got the ball. William Henry, 33, looking at it like a piece of bait. He just snacked it away. And it's a first down for Eric Nichols, who's back in there at quarterback for Maryland. Wobbles one out there to his teammate Robert Jackson. Threw behind Robert Jackson, who was sprawled at the 25-yard line. Incomplete. Probably the worst ball that Eric Nichols has thrown in the entire game so far. Well, you know what happens? You know, it's, it's a little hot out there, and their hands start getting sweaty, and it looked like he lost control of that ball. Jerry Mears. Powering out there, too, is quarterback Eric Nichols. We have uh, checking in for Maryland now as a wide receiver, number 21, John Snyder. He splits out to the near side at the bottom of your picture. John's out of Fort Hill, headed for Fairmount State. So he split now, and now he goes in motion. Out of the eye, this is Eric Nichols, sprints out. He's hit and bounces away and got maybe two yards on the play. He took a hit there in his backfield, rolled off it. Todd Pipkin and the Nelson Walker combined to make the stop for Pennsylvania. They try to set up the option to the wide side of the field, the same option that Allen ran the touchdown on. That time, the quickness of the Pennsylvania All-Star defense, and their coach, Wildman, said that he didn't think that anybody could really run the ball consistently against them because of their quickness. Well, already we have a casualty for Pennsylvania. I believe that's Yusuf Washington, who was injured, and is uh, on the sidelines. There's the quick out. The receiver for Maryland, number 80. That's Trey Sutton. Trey Sutton is 6'2", 194, out of Gaithersburg. So he knows Eric Nichols' move for move as well. Well, they're so conscious of Jackson. They ran Jackson straight down the field. He cleared out, and that's from a tight end position. Sutton just went right to the flat. Come on, 94. Maryland's offensive coordinator, John Herville, sends the play in to quarterback Eric we Nichols. We only need two yards now, man. We only need two, Robert. John telling you what the distance needed is. Fourth down and about two as Eric Nichols comes up. On fourth down, Nichols. Short toss, Jackson can't hold on. Incomplete, and Pennsylvania will get it back as Matt Baggett was the defender there, the cornerback right up in front of 86, Robert Jackson. Well, they played a little better. The pass wasn't really well thrown, but it was, a, it was a pretty good call. When you know that the cornerback has to play off five yards and you need two, that's not a bad play. There it is. You see, the ball's late getting there. And, uh, and especially when you know the outside linebacker cannot drop a double up on it. Baggett came in there. I don't know if he got a piece of it or not, but he certainly blurred the vision a little bit of the intended receiver, Robert Jackson. So Pennsylvania gets it back, and we have a new quarterback in the game for Pennsylvania. Number 14 is Paul Romanchuk replacing Doug C. First and 10 for Pennsylvania inside the 25. And with the football... Number 28, it's Gary Brown, and Gary Brown also showing a tendency to hold it out a little bit. The football, that is, George. Ricky Waters already lost it twice, and here's Gary Brown almost doing the same thing. You know what? Walter uh, Payton does it a lot, and sometimes the back will see one of the great ones do it, but it's usually an isolated situation where they can do it. It's their style. It's not good to copy that. Gary Brown out of Williamsport, headed for Penn State. I'm sure Brother Joe will work on that tendency, and there's the end of the first quarter. We've completed the first 12 minutes of the Pennsylvania-Maryland Big 33 All-Star Game here in Hershey. The score, Maryland 13 and Pennsylvania 6. We'll be back right after this.